it's been an absolutely huge decade for the video game industry, and throughout two generations of consoles, we've seen games make technological strides, and gaming has permeated the world's media like never before. And although mobile gaming looked to make a substantial impact earlier in the decade with the rise of smartphone technology, the mobile market has devolved mostly into pay-to-win titles and terrible monetization. And even though some of these practices have made their way into the console and PC space as well, and microtransactions have been a sore spot for many gamers, but a huge boon for mostly AAA publishers, we've still been treated to some incredible titles over the last 10 years. There are so many games in contention here, and it's incredibly hard to pin down the top 10 in a sea of so many impressive titles, but let's give it a try anyway. Here's the Direct Gaming Top 10 Games of the Decade. Let's begin. Number 10, Forza Horizon 4. One of Microsoft's most successful ongoing franchises over the last two console generations, Playground Games' Forza Horizon series has cemented itself as the premier open world racer and has positioned itself perfectly between arcade racing and simulation. Its fourth outing in the series set in a brilliantly crafted United Kingdom is the most impressive with over 450 vehicles for players to get behind the wheel of and an unparalleled season system which changes the entire map's landscape every seven real-world days. With street races, rally tracks, wild cross-country circuits, drift challenges and so much more, Forza Horizon 4 absolutely nailed the sense of speed and thrill of open-world racing and packed incredible detail into every square meter of the game's huge map. The game's expansions took this to another level again with the hardcore driver-focused Fortune Island giving players a rugged and stunning new map to explore with miles of brilliant switchbacks and hairpins and treacherous terrain to get lost in. And the LEGO Speed Champions DLC showed the game at its most outlandish and just pure fun. Playground games have proved their worth over four iterations of their highly lauded series and have become a household name for fans of the racing genre. But Horizon 4 stands out as the piece de resistance in the lineup and it takes the number 10 spot on my list for best games of the last decade. Number 9. GTA 5 The biggest release of a media product of all time with a long-standing multiplayer components which has stretched over half a decade, three great and memorable protagonists, an epic story of bank heist and crime, and a vibrant open world packed to the brim with detail, Grand Theft Auto 5 made its mark in the industry in so many different ways. The release of GTA 5 all the way back in 2013 for last-gen consoles was insanely big, and its midnight release was one that I'll never forget and the single-player component of Rockstar's landmark series truly did not disappoint. The story of Franklin, Michael and Trevor was packed with great moments, wacky characters, huge heists and pure insanity, and it was supported by one of the most visually impressive open worlds to date. As always, Rockstar develops game-changing games, and Grand Theft Auto V definitely didn't buck that trend. Its dark yet hilarious writing, dirty crime-filled narrative, incredibly questionable characters, in particular the unforgettable Trevor, and its brilliantly acted, written, shot and produced campaign made GTA V one of the most impressive games of the decade, if not all time. Number 8. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Bethesda's continuation of the Elder Scrolls series in 2011 made a huge impact on the gaming industry at large, and despite its buggy launch, was able to remain relevant throughout much of the decade. Its gorgeous open world, extensive player freedom, hundreds of hours of quests and exploration made Skyrim a must-play for role-playing fans and even permeated popular culture in ways many other games are unable. Its subsequent release on all current-gen platforms, including the Switch, the addition of mods for console gamers to experience, and its impressive expansions kept Skyrim at the forefront of gaming discussions, and despite the now evident downfall of the studio, my time playing Skyrim is still a memory that I look back on with joy. Number 7. Red Dead Redemption Rockstar again make my list with their 2010 entry into the American Wild West, 
with Red Dead Redemption, the tale of John Marston and one of the most memorable stories with one of the most heart-wrenching endings. Still almost 10 years on, I don't want to spoil it for new players. The open world chops of the studio were on show in every way with this depiction of the early 1900s America and Mexico. John Marston quickly became one of the most memorable video game protagonists of this era, and Red Dead really showed the breadth of talent at Rockstar could step outside the insanity of the GTA world with its sarcastic and satirical tone and tell a more mature story without losing any of its charm. And that ending, well, I think it speaks for itself. Number 6. Borderlands 2 Borderlands pretty much birthed the now incredibly popular looter-shooter genre with its original first-person role-playing shooter all the way back in 2009, but it was its second entry into the series that really took it to new heights. With one of the decade's best villains in Handsome Jack, a truly overwhelming amount of loot to collect, hilarious and ridiculous writing, amazing playable characters and a really excellent story, Borderlands 2 took everything it learned from its predecessor and turned the dials up to 11. Drop in, drop out co-op with up to four players and a ridiculous suite of powers, abilities, weaponry and customization at your fingertips. Borderlands 2 really was such a powerhouse for cooperative gameplay and a joy to play both alone or with friends. The way Gearbox doled out their expansions over the coming years kept me coming back for more and always felt like there was something new to enjoy. The only reason Borderlands 3 hasn't made this list is because I haven't finished it yet, but things may change if it holds up like Borderlands 2 all these years later. Number 5. Mass Effect 3 The finale of one of gaming's best stories ever told, and my favourite series of all time, Mass Effect 3, despite its controversies and to some disappointing ending, was an incredible game with incredible scope that pulled at the heartstrings of its enamoured fanbase. Commander Shepard's story across three titles was one filled with wonderfully written narrative, thoughtfully crafted companions and NPCs, and decisions that were felt across its trilogy all acted brilliantly by its stellar cast of voice actors. Although the final ending was controversial, yet well expanded upon in its extended cut, the journey throughout the finale wrapped up a huge number of stories thanks to your decisions from the previous two games, and featured some absolutely tear-inducing moments involving the game's brilliant squad mates. The music is unforgettable, the DLC was supremely well executed, and the sense of dread against the Reapers was constant throughout the game, and Mass Effect 3 capped off Bioware's immense sci-fi series in an incredibly memorable way. Number 4. Red Dead Redemption 2 It was hard to decide whether two Red Dead games would sit in my list, but I think Red Dead 2 deserves to take the number 4 spot due to its incredible story, characters, world and level of detail. It would be hard for Rockstar to strike gold twice with a better protagonist than John Marston, but somehow Arthur Morgan managed to eclipse his predecessor with the incredible performance from Roger Clark and was supported by an excellent cast of characters within the Vanderlyn gang. Dutch's fall from grace and path to pure insanity was executed near perfectly, and the story was one that constantly progressed the player into more and more dangerous circumstances, and for those who had played Red Dead Redemption, you knew where the story was leading. The game's world is second to none in the open world genre, and the level of detail and intricacy Rockstar put into the landscape, animals, towns and cities and NPCs eclipsed their previous titles in every single way possible. This game is a must play for any fan of Rockstar games and one that will be remembered for a very long time. Number 3. God of War Santa Monica Studios' reboot of a much-loved series was simply incredible taking a protagonist in Kratos, who had been a purely one-dimensional character in the game's preceding titles, and turning him into a thoughtful, mature father figure, really showed how the game's industry, the developers, and the players had matured. In the game's Norse setting, accompanied by his son Atreus, Kratos was allowed to be shown in a completely different light, and the personal journey that the father and son embarked upon is one that I'll never forget. Combat didn't take a backseat to the story, however, with imposing boss fights, huge set pieces, and the most satisfying weapon in the Leviathan Axe. And oh my god, that recall felt incredible. The open linear game design was tremendous, and the single camera shot of the entire title has never been done, and will probably never be done again by anyone besides Santa Monica Studio. Truly the greatest reboot of all time, 
God of War managed to succeed where so many have failed before. Number 2. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt CD Projekt Red took the industry by storm with their third game in the series based on Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski's fantasy epic and created one of the greatest RPGs of all time. With a stunning open world, incredible characters, a phenomenal protagonist in Geralt of Rivia and a captivating story. The game's level of detail is almost unparalleled in open world titles, with intricately designed towns, cities and countryside and delivered a massive sprawling narrative which followed Geralt in search of his ward Cirilla against the looming threat of the mysterious Wild Hunt. Witcher contracts gave players the ability to track and kill a massive amount of monsters and beasts in epic battles. The game was jam-packed full of meaningful side quests, and the game's expansions Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine were two stunning additions to the story and the game's expansive lore with well over 100 hours of content across the main game and the DLC. Even though it released in 2015, The Witcher 3 still stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with contemporary rivals in visual fidelity, but towers above so many other titles with its brilliant writing, branching story, level of depth and fascinating backdrop of Novigrad, Skellige, Velen and the Duchy of Toussaint, a must-play for every single RPG fan. Number 1. Mass Effect 2 The original Mass Effect was a brilliant start to a series that is loved by so many, and its introduction to Bioware's brand new IP, with a galaxy-wide threat of the Reapers and a wonderfully developed sci-fi lore filled with alien races and future technology, was instantly captivating back in 2007. But Mass Effect 2 took what made this original entry great and improved upon every part. Improved combat, expanded lore, sublime world design, a look into the seedier underbelly of galactic society, and even more memorable characters, a brilliant enemy in the Collectors, a plot that was paced to perfection and a final mission which goes down in history as one of the most impressive, made Mass Effect 2 an instant classic and one of the highest rated games of all time. The suicide mission is easily my favourite level in any game ever and its high stakes and truly revolutionary reliance on the decisions you've made throughout the rest of the game made it unforgettable. Commander Shepard's journey may be over now, but this game will surely stand the test of time and showed the industry that 2010 Bioware was at the peak of its game. A truly remarkable entry and the greatest game of the last 10 years. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this list and let me know your top 10 games of the last decade. It's been a great year and I thank every single one of you for joining me along this journey of creating direct gaming. Hopefully 2020 will be even better and bigger than this year and I cannot wait to share it with you all. Thank you so much and until next time, peace.